Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making a delicious chicken and dumplings in the Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen and every Monday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you. So if you're new to the Instant Pot, make sure that you subscribe and you push the little bell. The little bell is important. Push the little bell so you won't miss any notifications when I make a new video for you. So today I am making chicken and dumplings. Now this is one of the most requested videos that I have from you guys. You've wanted me to make it for a few months now and I am so excited to share it with you. My husband introduced it to me and I have loved it ever since. So if you guys are ready, let's go to the kitchen and get cooking. Okay, so don't be intimidated by all the ingredients you see. This recipe actually comes together really quickly and it is delicious, so stick with me here. Okay, we're gonna start with our Instant Pot and we're gonna push the saute button. Good, so it's gonna take about a minute or two to heat up and get hot. So while it's heating, we're gonna throw in our stuff. So we're gonna put in one tablespoon of butter, and then one teaspoon of olive oil. Let me just eyeball that. All right, then we're just gonna wait for these, for the butter to melt and for the oil to get hot. While we're waiting for this to get hot, I'm gonna just go ahead and chop up my chickens. I have two large chicken breasts. You can do anywhere from one to two, um, but I like chicken in my chicken and dumplings, so we're gonna go with two. Now I'm cutting these into bite-sized pieces just because you don't want a big chunk of chicken. It's better to have small pieces. So cut up all my chicken, we're good to go. And so our oil and butter are all ready to go too. Okay, so right now I chopped up an onion and then about three stalks of celery. So I'm just gonna take this and just put it right into the pot. Okay, then you're just gonna stir that around a little bit. So you just want these cooked until the onion is fragrant and the celery is cooked just a little bit through. Mmm, I love the smell of onion. Cooked onion is my favorite. Okay, so next we're gonna add a few more vegetables. Now it calls for one cup of carrots. And so you can have whole carrots and chop them up small, but I'm gonna cheat today and just use just baby carrots and throw in about a cup or so. Okay. And then it also calls for one potato, but I love using the mini baby potatoes because you can just throw them in there like that or you can cut them in half and it just makes it really quick and easy. So I don't know, I do about 10 potatoes or so and just throw them in. You just want them so they're bite-sized. So if they are too big, you want to cut them, but if they're pretty small, then you'd be fine just to throw in the whole potato. And if you don't want to use the baby ones, you can just use just a normal russet potato or a few red potatoes, just cut them up and throw them in. So once our potatoes are in, I'm just gonna stir it around a little bit. Okay, so then I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic. Um, I like to use the canned garlic, but you can use whatever garlic you want. So I did about a half teaspoon or so of garlic. Mix that in too. And then it's time to start cooking everything. So we're gonna put our chicken in right now. Just dump that in. Okay, and then we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth because you're gonna need liquid in order for your Instant Pot to pressurize. Just kind of eyeball it there. I like to use these containers because I know there's four cups in there so I use about half of it or so. You don't have to be exact with this recipe. All right, that is looking good. Okay. So then we're gonna just add a little bit of seasoning. So just salt and pepper, just however much you want. I did about a half teaspoon of each. And then we have about a half teaspoon of poultry seasoning that you can put in there. And then about a half teaspoon of sage. 
you want to put other spices in here, go ahead and do that because I love spices, but these together are some of my most favorite. All right. Mix it all around a little bit and we're ready to cook. So because it's on saute right now, we want to push the cancel button first. So we're going to push cancel and then put our lid on. Make sure that your little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Then you're gonna push either the pressure cook button or the manual button. Now because our chicken is cut up, we don't have to cook it as long. So I'm gonna cook it for about 15 minutes. Okay, now while this is cooking and pressurizing, I'm gonna go ahead and take my biscuits and start cutting those up. So I already popped it so you wouldn't have to see my face as it exploded, but so this is the jumbo biscuits. It comes with eight, but you only need about six of them. So I'm gonna take a biscuit and then pull it out carefully and just kind of flatten it out a little bit. Now you want to do it into strips. So I'd like to do it into six pieces. So I split it in two first and then just two more. They don't have to be even, it's fine. Cause once they cook, they'll all look the same anyway. So, so you're gonna do this to six of your biscuits and then just set them to the side. They can sit there while the rest of your food will cook. So we've chopped up our chicken, we put in our vegetables, we put in our spices, then we just chopped up all the dumplings and you're gonna put in the dumplings in your pot right now. All right, so we're gonna add two more cups of chicken broth. So we're gonna have four cups total in there. So, And then we're just going to carefully place your biscuits on top. Now there's gonna be a lot of liquid in there. You just kinda of wanna place them right on top of the liquid and spread them out. Cause if they're all mushed together, it's not gonna cook very well. So you want individual biscuits. And so you're just gonna spread them out the best you can. So once all your biscuits are in, carefully take out your spoon. So you're not gonna mix it or anything. You're gonna leave your biscuits right there floating on top. So before you put your lid on, make sure that you push the cancel button. Then you can put your lid on. Okay, lid goes on. Make sure this little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Then you're gonna push the pressure cook or manual button. And we're gonna go to 10 minutes. Uh, your chicken is cut up so small that it will only take about 10 minutes to cook and your biscuits will cook in about 10 minutes too. So we're gonna let that cook and then we'll come back. All right, so it's all done cooking. Um, you can see that the little L is starting to count up. That means that it's done. So you can either let it release on its own for a little while, or you can turn the knob to venting. And I'm gonna turn it to venting today. Okay, so once all the pressure's out, that little button will go down and then you can take the lid off safely. All right, oh, you can see the biscuits. They look good. Now they look obviously a little soggy because they're sitting in liquid, but they are cooked all the way through. So we're just gonna mix them around just a little bit. You don't wanna mix too much because then you'll break up the biscuit. It'll make your chicken and dumplings thick, but you wanna keep your biscuits whole. So we're just mixing carefully. All right, once we've mixed, we're gonna add half a cup of heavy cream. Just dump that right in so it makes it good. And then we're gonna add about a cup of peas. Now you could other, add other vegetables if you want, but I just like peas in my chicken and dumplings. So about a cup or so. There we go. Then you're just gonna carefully mix everything in. Now you can cook your food just like this, or you can make it go a little bit faster. Push the cancel button and push saute, and then you'll cook your vegetables just a little bit faster, or, or your peas, peas a little bit faster. It will just make everything heat up quicker. Looks good. So we're just gonna let this sit for a minute or two, let it saute and just keep stirring um, so it will cook nice and even. All right, so when it's all done, I like to serve it in a bowl because it's, it's almost like a soup, but you know, it's chicken and dumplings. It's so good. All right, you can see that. Oh, it smells so good. All right, now for the taste test, if you're ready want a dumpling in there. That's, I think, my favorite part of the whole thing. Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> Shouldn't talk while I do that. That is so good. 
All right, you guys, if you want more simple and easy recipes just like this one, you can check out my five Instant Pot recipes perfect for beginners. Just right over there. And I will see you next time. Bye.